Reed, if you are not taking antibiotics regularly, you may be eating them in your food. Valley health experts say this growing trend could have dangerous consequences. Here's News 3's Gerardo Mala with part two of his special series, Invisible Enemies. Many, but certainly not all, farmers routinely give livestock antibiotics. But as you're about to see, some local companies are doing their best to keep these medications out of your refrigerator. The symphony of sound <laughs> quiets critics who are concerned about our food supply. Welcome to Quail Hollow Farm in Overton, where antibiotics never make it into the food supply. The only time we would ever give an uh, animal medication is if it were ill, um, just like we would for ourselves. But it's not a matter of routine at all, and I don't think we've given an antibiotic for over five years now. In the rare case that an animal does receive medication, it's temporarily taken out of the food chain. Turns out, just like humans, a healthy lifestyle reduces animal illness. This is the way they were meant to live, out in fresh air, um, eating fresh things growing from the ground. However, at many U.S. farms, animals are routinely given antibiotics. The drugs are designed to keep them healthy and increase their growth or production. Most people go to the grocery store, pick up a few Few items, maybe get some milk or some chicken, but very few of us realize what we're actually getting. Statistics from the FDA show that in 2011, 80 percent of our country's antibiotic supply was given to animals, not people. The trend has prompted documentaries like Fresh. There is a new vision of the future that we don't have to wait for. Even a scathing op-ed piece from the former head of the FDA, David Kessler. Antibiotics often make it into what you drink. But not at Anderson Dairy in downtown Las Vegas. This one is a raw sample from the truck. Every incoming shipment is checked for antibiotics. Even though, according to company VP Dave Kuhn, the dairy only uses regional farmers. A lot of dairy farmers check on the farm before they even transport because if um, antibiotics are detected, the load is rejected. Anderson has been checking for medication in its dairy products for decades, but this level of diligence is not necessarily the norm. Some farmers hope the trend will change, thereby reducing the amount of antibiotics we gobble up every year, either by design or by accident. What we feed our chickens and our animals matters. Gerard Romalo, News 3.